Welcome to week seven. Actually, this is going into week eight, but right now, this is week seven. <laughs> the end of week seven. Um, I'm on day 42 or 43 of insanity. I can't remember. Um, but it's 67 days in, in insanity, so I'm over halfway there. I'm going. I missed one day this week of doing insanity, but instead of doing it on Thursday when I should have, um, on Friday, my rest day, I took a step class to kind of make up for it. <clears throat> Whatever. It kicked my butt, the step class. It was at work at our gym. He's going to eat those tissues. Um, so, the, and they have a new instructor, and I hope they keep her around because her step class was awesome. That dad's home. Where's that dad? Uh, Jake's in here with me. Uh, What'd you do? He didn't eat any of it. He was just putting it in his mouth. Or, um, just tearing it up in little pieces. It's wet. He was, um, putting it to his nose. He was wiping his nose with it. Bye bye. He wouldn't take a nap. He he slept for about twenty minutes. Did you put cat pudding in his crib? Mm -hmm. When I got home, because he was asleep. Bye. Can I have a kiss? Give me a kiss. Um. <laughs> ah. I hate this lighting. I'm like it's lit. I'm lit up like the moon. Like one side of me. And you see that huge crater right there. Look, I broke out so bad from having my period. And I'm still breaking out. I know, TMI. <laughs> don't watch if you don't want to know. I don't care. Can you tell what else I did too? Oh, the mustache is gone. It vanished. <laughs> Again, I don't have a meal plan. I didn't do any special meals during week seven. Uh... Did I? No. I didn't. I didn't make anything different. I wanted to get fresh green beans and I ended up getting other things because I just had the baby and um, I wanted it to be a quick trip. It didn't turn out to be a quick trip. Anything with the baby is I'm in the store as long as he is quiet and when he starts whining that he's hungry or wants a nap, then we leave the store. So I'll show you my stuff I got then. My crunchy mom haul. So I stuck to exercise pretty good. My um, my gym at work is doing a, a program for the next two months. I don't remember. It's called some kind of challenge to move something or other. But um, then the challenge this week has been to walk, I think it's at least five miles the whole week. A, a total of five miles. And I put in over four five miles in four days. And that's just walking on the treadmill or walking outside during my lunch break instead of doing a, a class there since I'm doing insanity in the evening. Although there's only one day this week that was nice to work, walk outside and it was freaking windy as hell. Other challenges they've done in previous weeks have been pretty much things I've already been doing. Tracking my food, um, uh, looking up the nutritional facts about the food, uh, making meal plans so um, as part of the challenge, all the members get points for the things that they accomplish, and at the end, I don't know if it's the most points or you hit a number of points you're putting to a drawing, I don't know, you can win an hour-long massage, so I've been doing all these things because that'd be really nice, a nice reward for, for moving my body and sweating. This is so boring. So insanity, I'm done my rest week. And I started the um, the second month in, and it is much more intense, and I really like it because it, it has my heart rate up longer, the workouts are longer, I'm burning more calories. I love it. I don't I don't love it when I'm doing it, <laughs> but I love the results afterwards. And I can tell that it's much more intense, not just from the workout, but because I lost two more pounds. And now I am officially in the 100s. I'm 199. I think last time I saw 199, um, I was pregnant with Parker, or right before I got pregnant with Parker. 
and I swore to myself, oh man, if I, if I ever hit 200 or go over 200, that's when I'll start losing weight. Well, that's when I started having babies and I didn't care. Who cares when they're pregnant? No one freaking cares when they're pregnant. So, let's have a little party. Ain't a party like the Scranton party, because the Scranton party don't stop. Yep, representing PA. I'm going to show my t-shirt. I'm going to show you a green bean side. It's about a pound and a half of fresh green beans. I put some extra virgin olive oil, about, I don't know, maybe like a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half drizzled over it. I'm going to show you a quick side. Since I didn't have a meal plan ready, um, I just wanted to throw in a little uh, nice healthy side that I made recently that it's one of my favorites now. The green part in the garlic, how it's sprouted like that, it's okay. I've never noticed that it affected the flavor really. Um, I mean, I've, I've heard people say it makes it bitter, but I just read actually, um, again, from Mama Natural, um, it's actually better to eat sprouted garlic. See when it sprouts, that it's not going to harm you or anything or really affect the taste. I think it contains more antioxidants. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I think I'm apples. I don't know. But it's not going to affect the taste really. I have never found that it did. So I added the minced up garlic in there green beans and olive oil and then I'm going to put onion powder in it and then this poultry seasoning. You can look and see the other herbs and <laughs> give it will focus and seasonings that are in it. I don't know how much I put in there like maybe a good full two pinches. Okay, hold on, maybe like three good pinches. <clears throat> Yeah, I rarely ever measure anything. I just kind of guesstimate. I just like shake the hell out of onion powder until it looks pretty, and that's good. Like I said, the olive oil's already in there. Just kind of toss them around. So that's thrown into my um, pan bar, my stone pan bar by Pampered Chef. I have it at 400 degrees. Right now I have sweet potatoes in there. Um, oh, I'll put some sea salt in it. I don't think this is open yet. Yeah, it is. I'm going to put some coarse sea salt on it. I'm going to do that. Now that I'm looking at it, I wish I would have put more garlic in it. <laughs> Even though you can see all the garlic, garlic throughout it, I still like a lot of garlic. I'll probably let the green beans bake for like, I don't know. How long should I let them bake for? Like 15, 20 minutes. I still like them kind of crunchy. This is what we will be enjoying on the grill. Mmm. Yep, we're not vegetarians That's around good. here. Uh -uh. I want to sh show you what my, my husband likes to do while the grill is heating up. <sighs> he is such an old man. He's metal detecting. I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> um, it's like, oh my god, it's nice out for one weekend. Let's hurry up and grill and metal detect and do anything we absolutely can in the backyard before it snows next week. <laughs> oh, I'm so over winter. 